All right, so I'm going to talk about positioning. First, there are common traits to boat positioning in both fresh and salt water. You want to consider all of these when positioning your boat. Uh, you want to take into account the wind, current. People always ask me what the good use of a rudder is. This is a perfect example. I could sit here in the current and I could just use my feet and let the current do all the work for me. Where the shoreline is in position to where your boat is, what kind of structure you're gonna be fishing on the bottom, whether it's mud, uh, submerged trees, in the salt water you wanna take into account shell or a muddy bottom, maybe grass line. And then also one of the most important things is boat traffic. As you can see here, I'm on the right side of this channel. Where you don't wanna be or where you wanna try to limit your time is right in the middle. Now for freshwater specific positioning tactics, some of these are saltwater tactics as, as well, so just keep that in mind. You wanna consider the, the density of the cover. If you're fishing really thick stuff, uh, you can get away with positioning your boat in the thick stuff and then punching to the different areas. Now if you want to flip to the thick stuff, say there's an opening and the shoreline has thick cover, well you wanna position your boat to where you can fan cast that shoreline where that thick cover is and make the most out of where you position your boat. You also want to take into account the grass situation. If you know there's grass, you can either position yourself on the grass, if you know where the fish are, and then work your bait accordingly to how deep the grass line is. Of course you have the submerged grass, or maybe you have floating grass or floating mats. For kayak positioning, I like to get right up in that grass. God yeah. Don't swallow it. Then I don't got to anchor and I don't got to worry about the wind blowing me around all over the place. Position yourself on a drop off depending on how you want to approach it. Um, if you want to approach it casting at the drop off or if you want to fish from the drop off up towards you. Again that all comes in play when you're fishing with your electronics. Which brings me to fishing with electronics. Now if you're marking fish on your depth finder you obviously don't want to be casting jigging up and down. You're going to want to place a buoy in the water, paddle out, and you want to cast past the buoy. Depending on the depth of the water, let your bait sink, and then you start reeling it to where you have your buoy. Just be careful you don't get tangled up inside the buoy line. Now for salt water, you want to consider the tidal movement. Tidal movement is a big thing for saltwater anglers. Usually they're fishing with tidal movement. So if you have a strong current, you obviously want to anchor up on the shore and you know work a certain area. Uh, if you're fishing a bigger body of water, drop your anchor preferably a claw anchor so you can get better traction and then lastly when you're stalking fish on the flats you're stalking redfish or whatever game species you want to target the positioning of the boat is very critical you don't want to get too close to the fish so what i recommend is just crab walking you can crab walk keep your low profile you're not standing up so high if you're in shallow enough water you you're gonna see the fish now when you see a fish you don't want to paddle straight up to it you want to get as close as you can to make an effective cast. So just remember when you're fishing freshwater or saltwater, the common traits for both. Hopefully these tips help you out.